Well, a very good morning to you uh, from wherever you are watching us from right here on Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you today. Uh, we have just come from that short break, and uh, if at all you're just joining us, you are in time for the next conversation of the day, and this is a strength of a woman. And uh, 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 to help us in this particular discussion, and my oh my, this is a fantastic lady. Ladies and gentlemen, I am with in studio Shufa Othman. She is uh, an author and a founder of the Sisterhood KE. Much thank you. How you I'm glad to be here. Happy, happy to have you. Happy <laughs> to have you. you. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I love what I saw uh, on, on, on your page. Uh, just tell us something a bit more about, about that. Uh, what is uh, the Sisterhood KE all about? Um, the Sisterhood KE is a group of ladies, of young ladies, aged between the ages of 25. Um, we are hoping to extend it to the age of 45, mm -hmm. um, where they just come together and talk and basically just vent because mm -hmm. um, we realized, I realized that I have a lot of things to say um, and I don't particularly know exactly where to say them if who I to say it to. Oh, who to say it to yeah, if yeah. I don't particularly want to go to therapy mm -hmm. because at um, they still their um, stigma and a bit of fear when it comes to therapy so, so, so it's like some um, mentorship yes it's for women for, for, ladies. for ladies yes because um, in the ages of 20 from 25 you realize that you're in a quarter life crisis of some kind mm -hmm. where you don't really know where exact, what exactly you're supposed to do. You've been told growing up that this is how um, everything is supposed to go. You finish school, you get a job, um, you work, get, start a family, and sometimes life really doesn't go according to those steps. Exactly. So where do we talk about it when we're having a difficult time? Mm -hmm. Where do we discuss when, for example, you cannot find a job? Where do you discuss if you hate the job that you're yeah, in, yeah. where do you discuss mm -hmm. if you d cannot find a partner? Where do you discuss if you're having trouble with your partner? Where do you, where do you vent? Yes. Where, where yes. can you let go? Yes. Where can you take that load off your chest? Yes. Wow. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, that is your far strength of women today. We want to talk about matters concerning mental and social welfare right here on Wine in the Morning. Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website and that's at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. The hashtag as always is Wine in the Morning. Tag me at Ram Maguko. The official station handle is at Y254 channel and uh, of course uh, ensure that you let us know where you're watching us from even as you engage on our uh, post or conversation of the day. Shofa, doing a fantastic job. Thank when you. When you talk about mental and social welfare, I know that there are so many things that you handle on that particular platform. Yes. But let me take us a bit back. Okay. Why did you choose this path? Okay. Um, I studied psychology in university. Mm -hmm. And once completing university, um, I realized that very many people are afraid mm -hmm. to actually go through therapy sessions. And so I wanted to provide just a way for people to be able to speak up mm -hmm. because the more we hold things inside, the more they disturb us. Yeah. So there needed to be a way in which somebody can feel like they're letting go and maybe have some and be provided with some solutions of some mm -hmm. kind. Mm -hmm. Because if I speak to somebody else, they'll have a, um, an opinion, their experience is different. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to help me. Yeah. They might not be able to give me 100% of what I want to hear, but everything they've said, I will be able to pick. And sometimes also, mm -hmm. when you say something out loud, it's clearer to you. When you remove it from your mind and speak it out, Whatever you're going through is clearer to you. But you, but, but now you are in, in in school doing psychology. Yes. And he, he, you know it's hitting you that by the way, people don't actually visit psychologists. Yes. People don't want to talk about it. Yes. And you want to create a platform where people can actually uh, 
uh, get access to you without physically coming to where you are. Yes. That's a nice job opportunity, but it's creating <laughs> <laughs> it's creating your own niche. Yeah? I, I love that. Um, as you started this whole process, I know it took a lot of strategy and a lot of thinking around it, a lot of planning. Many say that starting is always a problem. It's the hardest part. Yeah, that always. is the hardest. Yes. Was it hard for you? Yes. Okay, I was afraid. I was very afraid to start. Um, because it's first something that's not there, not common. Mm -hmm. You might find it, but it's not very common. And also, are people really willing to join you on this journey? Because yeah, yes, yeah. I'm willing to vent and speak to someone about what is happening with me, but is someone else willing mm -hmm. to do the same? Mm -hmm. So yes, it was very difficult for me, like just the fear of starting. And so I just started with my friends. I said, yo, we are really going through things. And when we speak about it, we actually realize we're going through the exact same things. Did you feel as if, as, as if at some point uh, it might not come out to be something that is interesting to, for others to? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. There's always that. There's always that. That um, you're doing something so out of the norm. Um, you're doing something so... Like, just go and sit in your office. What is all this you're doing? You know, mm -hmm. like, just this is, does not make sense. Like, it, you actually get that feeling of this does not make sense. Why are you doing this? But I feel I'm very passionate about people speaking out. Mm -hmm. Because the more, like, unfortunately, with mental health cases and suicide cases increasing, mm -hmm. we have to figure out how to simply just help each other and give each other a listening ear yeah. so that there's no I wish I knew mm -hmm. so that there's someone can just feel like by the way if I talk to this group of ladies they might not be able to have a solution for me but they'll hear me and I feel like a lot of people these days don't feel heard and mm. so that's why I started the sisterhood and, and sometimes someone isn't looking for a solution no Sometimes someone just wants to talk yes. and talk and yes. talk. Yes. Just don't say anything. Don't yes. respond. <laughs> yes. don't, don't, don't preach to me. Yeah. Just we let have, me talk. We have all the information. You can literally Google, go on YouTube to say how to stop anxiety. How, like, <laughs> yeah. There's everything. But I just need someone, a human being to mm. listen mm. to me. Yeah. How do you end up gathering all these people together so that they can be in one place? Okay, where so they can be able to vent out. Mm -hmm. So it started with my, just my group of friends, um, friends I was with in high school, friends I was with in uni. So let's just come together and then everybody bring somebody. Mm. Everybody bring somebody. And then because now we, w we already knew each other, it was easier to speak. This is physically, right? Yeah, um, no, just on, on, Online. on, on WhatsApp. Okay, Actually, okay. we started a WhatsApp group. That's where it started because sometimes it's easier to write down what you need to say rather than sit down and speak. And then later, we, disc we realize, okay, now we're comfortable enough to actually meet and speak in person. Because mm. sometimes you just need that, sometimes there's the need for that barrier, for like mm. I'm speaking to someone who's listening, but not sitting there so that I'm not watching their facial expressions to know, oh my gosh, this person is judging me. Yeah. 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 So it started as a WhatsApp group, and now we've decided to expand it to but Instagram and Facebook. And then on Instagram and Facebook, it's, it's now becoming a podcast. Yes, we, we started a podcast mm -hmm. um, two months ago. Um, the podcast is called Cookies and Sangria. Cookies and? Sangria. Okay. Yes. Um, so there we just now just properly speak and just speak the truth mm. and let people hear what exactly it is every, we are going through to be able to give someone else an opportunity to be like, oh, I'm going through that as well and to feel free enough to open up about their experiences now, now when you started the 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 the, the whatsapp group you are with your friends yes we were five of us around five of you yes um but i believe that there is that growth yes that has been there since then yes you're now on instagram and i'm i'm trying to wrap my mind around the people that you're involved with because here yeah, it's no longer the five friends yes, you are with on whatsapp yes. Now it's on Instagram yes. and it's on Facebook. Yes. Now, which people are you engaging with here and how far is uh, uh, the reach so far? Um, mm. Actually, because um, what 
usually happens mm -hmm. um, we ask you if you want to join the whatsapp group you send us a dm on instagram with your details you tell them on on, on ig yes okay. or if you just rather speak to us on instagram mm -hmm. so that it's like a one-on-one because -on -one, maybe you're not i mean people are still shy or they just want to participate but not open up so we actually have members in the u.s in greece yeah wow wow <laughs> yeah wow yeah Wow, wow. I, I did not expect yeah, that. Yeah. So um, this is uh, IG. Is it a private conversation no. or public? Yes. Now, this person venting. Okay. Is this person venting to a private team mm -hmm. or just to the public? It doesn't matter who is hearing me. Oh, okay. For Instagram, mm -hmm. it's in the DM. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to use, can specify if you want to speak to a specific person or you'd like to speak to the group. So if you want to speak to the group, um, we add you to the WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. So now you speak to the group and you have a conversation with the other ladies as well. Uh, because you know, this, 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 yeah. this, there's this perception of someone else knowing my secrets. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. want somebody to know my problems. Mm -hmm. Yet I, I, I need to vent out. Mm -hmm. Because one problem that many do have is the desire to be heard and the desire to speak. But you are trying at the same time to be very careful not to speak to the wrong person yes. who will end up talking about your problems mm -hmm with a third party mm -hmm. that aspect of privacy and secrecy how do you employ it with your group okay it's a very strict rule with uh -huh. the group that yeah. whatever is shared here is share is for the group only and actually it's just luckily i would say it's just a matter of trust mm. everybody who has joined and participated knows exactly what they want so they just trust that nobody will share their information the way they've trusted like someone else has trusted them mm -hmm. so to be quite honest we're just very lucky that everybody has actually just very been very very trusting mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. very very um true to keeping confidentiality and mm -hmm. Because if you if you, someone tells your story, there's always the fear of someone will tell my story. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's by sheer luck that everybody understands the concept of the group. So you manage to instill this system where there's confidentiality yes. and, and, and you trust in the team yes. that you're working with. Yes. Wow, wow. Y you must be having some... some some way of talking to these guys, you know, how, how has it been? Uh, uh, because at some point, uh, who has ever come to you and told you, I you know, I shared this with someone and I'm hearing no. it. No, no. are actually very fortunate. Yeah, nobody. Wow. Absolutely nobody from, in the two years that we have been functioning, mm -hmm. absolutely nobody has done anything like that so let's keep fingers crossed <laughs> <laughs> we don't expect yeah. anything any, yeah. anything but yeah. you managed it for two years mm -hmm. and so far so good if yes. you could manage for that period then i, you, you I can believe even so i trust the people who are joining the people who participate mm -hmm. so as much as i trust them i know that they trust me yeah yeah because we don't have people who are just looking for tea exactly <laughs> exactly. We're trying to help each other. Yeah. We're trying to lift each other. We're trying to bring each other up. There's, it doesn't, it doesn't do anyone any good. And it's therapeutic. To be tell exactly. And that's what everybody just needs. Therapy. Yes. Now, even as you interact with the with people, I want to bring it down to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have, you have managed to bring up a platform where people can vent out. It's a good thing. And, and, and people are coming out strongly. And they're saying, you know what? Ever since I started talking here, I have grown. You, you know, you get a peace of mind. But what about you? What about Shofar? Where do you vent? Oh, I go for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> because because I, I, I'm thinking, sorry to say, but, but I'm thinking, yes. Um, yeah. Who treats the doctor? Yeah. The, do the doctor treats me, but yeah. who treats the doctor? 
who keeps you in check? How do you take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. Because you're hearing so many people's problems. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it get to you, you know? I mean, I, I also share my problems within the group as well. Uh -huh. So there's that aspect. Yeah. But if something somebody shares something that's like way too heavy for me, I do go for therapy to just unpack what yeah. they've said so that I don't carry it, so that I'm in a better place to help them mm -hmm. because you can only help others when you've helped yourself first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do, and do, do, have, have you had those instances where you've actually felt oh, touched definitely, by people's definitely. stories? Definitely. People are really going through things <laughs> out here. Yeah. And sometimes, sometimes I'm not well equipped to, you know, ha handle it myself or provide a solution myself. So I actually have to seek third mm. party opinions okay. and, you know, just how to guide someone mm -hmm. on what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, Without mentioning any names, um, what are just some of the notable scenarios that, that you felt touched you, that you feel, you know what, people are suffering mentally out mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and it, 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 was, it was that thing for you, mm -hmm. you know? Um, work environments, toxic work environments is mm -hmm. a very big deal. People are not happy with work, people are not happy with their colleagues, people don't know how to treat each other at work. Yeah. It, that one is quite, and that one is difficult because everybody has to earn a living, everybody has to, you know, make money somehow. Exactly, so yeah. coping in such environments is, is difficult yeah. when you don't have an alternative. Mm -hmm. um, also, relationships are a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, maneuvering relationships, um, you know, partners, solving problems, conflicts, things like that. Mm. Those are, I would say, the biggest issues. About work, you can't resign. You can't uh, uh, opt out of the job. Mm -hmm. uh, about relationships, you, you, you love this person, but mm -hmm. things are just not working out yes. the way you expected. Yeah. All these problems, how, um, um, how do you manage to help the people that you're working with to at least find peace within themselves and to push on. Okay, because within the group mm. is a diverse, there's a diverse range of ladies. Yeah. Some, you know, are single, married, have children. Others are self-employed, business women, work in offices. So once someone shares their story, mm -hmm. um, there's all everybody else chimes in with their own experiences yeah, and yeah. like pieces of advice from their own experiences. Mm. And because there's people who are older and younger, everybody has like a different experience. So wow. that helps when someone shares their story for them to pick what they need from the shared experiences. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so, so it's, 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 it's that aspect of helping each other heal. Yes. Yes, definitely. You, sh you share your experience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not, not, no. not, 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 not <laughs> saying someone else went through <laughs> no, this. No, 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 no. You're saying I yes. went through this. Yeah. I love it's that. all very personal. Very, very personal. And that's what helps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, they, we are always trying to, you know, give this certain image, look this certain way, when we just need to shed off the mask and just be ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Now, I want you to give me a typical day. Not even a typical day. A day where you're saying you wake up in the morning and uh, at, at, at what time does uh, this let me say, function start. <laughs> it's open 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Oh, there's no time that you're saying I will, I will log in from this time no, to this time? No, no. 24-7. 24-7. At what time do you log in? Um, I would say I like to check in um, in the morning. In the morning. Because you might find someone has wanted to talk about something in the night. Okay. So yes. Let's pick it from there. Yeah. From that angle. Yeah. A typical day. This is your farm. You've woken up, you're saying, I want to log in. I want to check what's going on here. Tell me how it's like from the time you log in and the discussions that go on. I want to, 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 to feel as if I am in this particular, in the group. Okay. In the group. <laughs> okay. and, and, and I am part of the team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bring me into it. Okay. Uh. So I log in, see somebody has said something. Yeah. More often than not, especially with the people who are abroad, someone has already replied because of the time difference. 
So if someone has, sh for example, you've yeah. shared your story yeah. in the middle of the night because that's a, that's the best time to vent. Or, or yeah. the, the, the they just type it out. It out. Yeah. Okay, okay. Type it out or send a voice note. Mm -hmm. So you've shared your story. Mm -hmm. Someone the abroad has replied already because of the time difference. Mm -hmm. So I chime in. Um, say what I need to say mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, as the day continues, everybody chimes in Chips as well. In. Yes. Okay, okay. Just everybody sharing, everybody, everybody. Uh -huh. And then at some point, I do a side conversation with the five people that I started the group with. They're still there till now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. To uh -huh. see whether we, what else can be done, what more, if there's anything that needs to be done that's more than what's been discussed here so that then we can side chat the person who has the problem to now discuss like one on one mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. solutions we can come up with okay. and then you know okay. later now refer to the group and be like okay you're okay mm -hmm. you know everything mm -hmm. is okay this all sorted out and then later the person come to say yes i'm feeling better wow yeah sisterhood yes sisterhood yes i love that i i i wish men i don't know if men can come <laughs> up with such a thing <laughs> I'm sure they can. Create one for I'm men. I, I would like to. It's just that I'm w more well equipped to work with <laughs> ladies. Ladies. So I'll look for <laughs> men to, you know, start the brotherhood. Men, yeah. Men don't talk. Huh? Men don't talk. Yeah. And it's affecting our mental uh, 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 state, our mental health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men don't talk. I love it, the fact that women are talking. Uh, even as we talk. Yeah. What is just that <laughs> crazy voice note? That you ever come, came across? Or the, or Confidentiality. No, 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 no. Don't mention, don't mention, don't mention, don't mention any. Story, someone yeah. will look at me like, oh, you went on TV to say my story. Or oh, they, oh, they'll pick it up. Yeah. It's, it's that isolated. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow. But now, even as you interact with, the, with your, with, with your, how do I call it? Sisters? Sisters, yes. Yeah? Yes. As you interact with your sisters, yeah. is it okay to conclude that when it comes to women, women are creating an environment or a safe space where they are promoting their mental health? Yes. At this age and time? Yes. Yeah? Yes, it's very correct to say because we realize it's very important. Mm. Um, and especially as we get older, we are the ones who take care of everybody. And so in that spirit who takes care of us, we need to learn how to also take care of ourselves. And you cannot do anything if your mental health is struggling. The smallest thing can happen and you will have a bad day and mm -hmm. everything else will just feel like a disaster. Mm -hmm. So it's, we, I felt like prioritizing our mental health mm -hmm. and our role in the society, honestly, always being the caretakers, caregivers, Mm. We also need that. We need the care. We need, need that care. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and it, does it also build you? How does that also, this whole experience also build you as a person? Um, it has been very impactful with knowing that I'm actually not alone. Like, we are all going through the exact same thing in different ways. Yes. In very different ways. And that's why it helps to speak about it. Uh-huh. So that we all know, oh yeah, okay, okay, I'm not just struggling with this. And with that, I can just be better at doing my best. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't, every, every day is different. And if you know, okay, I'm sharing this experience with someone else, okay, okay it's not that bad. Because sometimes uh, people think that their situation is the worst. Exactly, exactly. And when I say, ah, ah, you don't know what I've been through. Yeah, you don't yeah. know how, how I've suffered on this earth. Mm -hmm. You don't know how... I've, uh, some even call it character development. Yes. You don't know yes. what I've been through. Yes. So you won't understand me. Yeah. And we're all going through the exact same character development, mm -hmm. just in different ways. Until you hear someone else's story. Yeah. And, and you can only hear it if someone has the courage to, to speak. And that's why I actually really appreciate the ladies in the group, because that's courage to speak. And that not everybody has that sort of courage mm -hmm. to just speak. Yeah.
Now, let's talk about the podcasts here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in terms of execution of these podcasts, mm -hmm. um, uh, how do you execute the podcasts themselves? Because mm -hmm. now for the podcast, they have, they, they've got to be some form of arrangement mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the podcast. Yeah. Let's talk about that. So, okay, for the podcast, mm -hmm. we have a list of topics, you know, relationships, money, mm -hmm. work. And so um, I asked the ladies who are in the group yeah. to sign up to whatever topic they feel that they want to chime into, mm -hmm. so that when um, the main hosts, me and two other ladies, are having the podcast, they can come in. So there's a sheet for everyone to fill of, oh, I want to talk about relationships, I want to talk about work, mm -hmm. I would like to talk, yeah. So that's how we, we go about that one. Uh, uh, now, there's an image that is about to come up on your screen. I don't know if Abdul, <laughs> you've, you, you've got this. Uh, <laughs> This is, uh, oh, we, we took it from your IG page. <laughs> yes, yes. And maybe, uh, and, and gentlemen, go and check her out on her Instagram account. Uh, what's the handle? The Sisterhood KE. The sisterhood. Tell yeah. me about this picture here. Oh, so this picture was our very first meetup um, away from WhatsApp, away from Instagram, when we said, okay, now we're brave enough to look each other in the eye and, you know, communicate <laughs> and share our stories and see exactly who we have been talking to. You've never met. Some of them we, have, we had actually never, ever met. Till this day. Till this day. <laughs> Till this day, because this was our first meetup. We said, okay, let's go for lunch, um, you know, talk and just, you know, laugh about everything. Just have an easy time. Yeah, wow. and plan w what next to do with the group. It must have been nostalgic getting to, to, to finally meet one-on-one. -on -one it was. Discussing it was. ideas. It was like, oh, that's you. <laughs> this is how you look. Okay. Putting a face on yeah, someone's voice. Our problems. <laughs> 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 you get to hear someone's problem, and yes. then on this day, yeah. you see their face, yes. and you're like, you compare the face. Exactly. Exactly. You say, oh, no, we are not our problems. <laughs> Definitely not. Yeah. Wow. Sisterhood. Yes. L let me ask you. Mm -hmm. When you look at a picture like this, when was this taken? Oh, this was taken a while back. Um, when was it taken? I think early 2021. 2021. Yes. Now. I was checking your account. Mm -hmm. I saw, yes, it was Uko 2021. Mm -hmm. And I was asking myself this question, wondering, and maybe you can enlighten me. Mm -hmm. um, between then, look at this photo, mm -hmm. and, and now, the progress you've made. Mm -hmm. There must have been those achievements, those milestones, those, those, th those things that you look back and say, wow, this was it. Mm -hmm. What are, what, what are some of these things for you? Um, I would say, firstly, the group growing. Mm -hmm. um, we've grown tremendously from the five <laughs> to 30 now. We're about 30. 30. Those are the core, like the core people, away from people who we talk to on Instagram mm. and Facebook, the core people we engage with. Um, so that, to say, these five are the hour or deep state? Huh? Uh, deep yeah, state, deep state. <laughs> yes. There's <laughs> <laughs> <The originals. laughs> okay. So um, also I would say um, getting everybody's, being part of everybody's life as they've progressed is also a big milestone for us. Sharing in everybody's achievements, um, being able to participate, um, people getting married, people, you know, having babies, people mm. moving to new jobs. So you turned each other's weddings. Yeah. Sister, sister yeah. Food, it's an announcement. Oh, someone right. has a baby. Oh, yeah. So I for me, I, yeah. yeah. Just the growing, I would say growing as a family mm -hmm. and growing individually because at the end of the day, we are actually all strangers. Apart from the five core people who knew each other, the rest, we are actually strangers. So creating that family mm. for strangers and giving us what maybe we f someone feels like they would have wanted growing mm. up, you know, because mm. everybody's family situation is different. Yeah. Yeah. So creating that family is important for us. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's that. me. It's you. <laughs> Look a bit different. <laughs> it's the hair. It's, it's the, the hair. hair. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the hair. Yes, it's the hair. I was wondering, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, it's the hair. It's the hair. Yeah. It's, 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 it's nice seeing 
seeing the impact you're making. Thank you. Uh, especially um, to women or Thank to ladies you. outside there. Mm -hmm. You mentioned expanding. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of these plans you're having, future plans for sisterhood KE? Uh, even as you mentioned the, 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 the part of you know getting um, a, an outreach or up to 45 years of age. Mm -hmm. What are just some of these future plans you're having for this group? Okay, we definitely want to hold more physical meetups and okay. the physical meetups in the ways of workshops, um, you know, having professionals come in and speak to us, speak to the ladies, having um, luncheons where we have, um, we can get mentors for people, um, you can actually, um, you know, create opportunities for people within mm -hmm. the group. Mm -hmm. um, we're also looking, as we grow like the web, the podcast, we're also looking to grow our website so that there's the aspect of speaking your story and also writing your story. So that people ah. who are more comfortable with, you know, typing out, can type out their story and, you know, it's permanently there on mm -hmm. our website, mm -hmm. a blog of some sort. Yeah. Yes. So um, I, I, have you already come up with it? No, the website is in progress. It's, yeah, it's work in yeah, progress. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Uh, because it's 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 it's, it's something that many many need to, uh, to 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 get. Yes. So here we are looking at different kinds of content. Yes. Uh, uh, will it will it will the content be different from the one we are uh, uh, looking at in terms of the the, the, the podcasts vis-a-vis -vis um, the website? Um, the website now will have like a combination of everything okay, because wow. I I want to make it as for people to you know, be able to be free in the way they communicate. So if you like to speak, then speak. If you like to write, then write. Then the web web website will have everything. Yeah. This is your IG page. Yes, this is, is this our little is this IG? our little Instagram page. Our big our Instagram Insta page, my sister. <laughs> Thank <Huh>? you. <laughs> I will explain this. I'm seeing some this sports in spo uh, style convo food. Okay, so this is actually part of the growth that um, uh, the things we would like to do, uh -huh. like you know, with some what people like to eat, especially like during you're having cravings and things like that. Uh -huh. Things that people like to eat. The convo part is mostly the conversations of the on the podcast okay. style and in spo is you know what can inspire us. What style or fashion or whatever and then we have sports where like the sisters would want to hang out recommendations where people can go for certain things so we are a baby group and we are really growing mm. and there's a lot we would like to do and it's just creating wholesome individuals mm. so you know wholesome in finding your fashion sense finding where what you like to do and where you like to hang out finding mm. you know where, what spots are cool to eat and just engaging in the conversation with us. Okay, yeah. okay. I love I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing. Uh, 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 keep keep doing it. So this, the, I'm seeing a link there. That's to the podcast. Okay. Yes. Separate website? Um, it's on Spotify. Yes. Yes. Spotify. Yeah, yeah. I can see yeah. that. Yeah, Open it's on Spotify. Spotify. Episode. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, wow. Wow. Guys, let's build this thing up, by the way. <laughs> you got yes, your own please. logo there. Yes, yes. I drew it myself. A leaf? An olive branch and hands. What does it mean? Tell me the, the symbolism behind it. Um, of course, the olive branch, you know, is peace. And the hands is mm. togetherness mm. of holding each other together. And it's basically just holding hands. Wow. Yeah. Helping each other. Yes. Sisterhood. Yes. Sisterhood. Yes. Well, I want us to bring this conversation to a close. And uh, 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 I'm told that uh, there's something that, Abdul, if, 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 if you can bring it up, uh, as we bring this conversation to a close. Uh, once it's, it's, it's ready, Abdul, let me know. Uh, but I want to give you time to have a final word to talk your, to your sisters out there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but what I'm about to bring up, Abdul, uh, should I mention it or you can let me know? What is that that you're bringing up? Yeah. All right. When you're ready, you, 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 you will let me know. Uh, I want you to have a final word. Uh, talk to your sisters watching it today. Oh, okay. Yeah. What, what would be your parting shot to them? Um, please join us, I would say. Um, it's important 
to have a space to speak. Um, we'd love to have you. We'd love to listen to what you have to say. We'd love to appreciate what you bring to the table. And we'd love to grow with you and be part of your journey. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for that. Keep, keep, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. I, Thank I, you very I love much. the work uh, that you have started. Thank and you. And of course, uh, uh, we encourage everybody who is uh, watching to get a hold of her. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on, he is on Instagram. How can people get a hold of you just uh, as we bring it to a close? Um, you can get a hold on me on um, at the Sisterhood KE or my personal Instagram at underscore Shufa. Mm -hmm. And that's S-H-U-F-A-A. S-H-U-F-A-A. Yes. All right. Sister. Yes, sir. Do you call each other sister? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually sister Shu. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for, for that. I wish you the best. Thank you, you very much. You're doing. Looking forward to seeing great things oh, in the future. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And once you come up with that website, come back again. Let's have I another will. discussion. I will. And yes. Mental health, very important for women. Definitely. And that is what brings us to the end of this particular discussion right here on Why in the Morning. It has been a pleasure being with you right here. My name is Ram Maguko. It's all about matters concerning mental health right here on Why in the Morning. What, what are you doing to promote your mental health? Who are you talking to? Are you getting solutions? What are they telling you? What is your environment? What is your circle? So far, <laughs> the best place to, is to, to, to be. Get a hold of her. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Ram Maguko. It's a pleasure being with you. We are taking a short break. We'll be back with more right here on Why in the Morning.